Paul, yeah. we featured a lot of different flavors throughout yes. the week, so why don't we keep that yeah, going Yeah, let's right keep that now. going. I love it. Uh, you know, if you're adventurous and trying new things, then you'll like where we are today. Clark is at the Boiler House learning how to cook up some quail and ceviche. All right, sounds good. Yeah, I'm so ready for it. Chef Beto, thank you for having me this morning. Cheers. Thank you. Good morning. Mm. Cheers. Always a great way to start the day. We are making a really cool dish. It's ceviche, but it's your twist on it. Um, so tell me how we're reimagining this, and then we'll get to the quail as well. So we're layering with kind of different chiles, uh, different little kind of pickles, uh, some textural contrasts. Mm -hmm. I think you're going to like this version. I love it. Cool. What's the first step? Awesome. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to take this uh, salmon, Okay. put this in a bowl. I love the salmon. And would you say that this is a pretty good fish to use in ceviche? It's a pretty good fish. What, what you, you want to do is actually use the freshest fish possible. Okay. So if salmon happens to be the freshest uh, fish at the market that day, go for it. Um, snapper works really well with this uh, recipe as well. Mm -hmm. We're going to hit it with a little bit of salt. This, now, this fish has already been kind of seasoned a little bit. Okay. So it's kind of slightly cured, so it helps firm it up, gives a little bit extra flavor. So you want to do that at home. Kind of okay. season it up about 10 minutes before you start going and then you start laying your ingredients. So the next thing we're gonna do is lime juice. All right, lime juice. Mm -hmm. And do I mix this in at all? Yeah, you're gonna mix that in. So that's all a combination right, cool. between lemon and lime, like, I like the better. combination of the citrus. Okay. We're gonna take a little bit of this uh, diced cucumber. It's got a little bit of red onion in there. It's about a spoonful or two. A spoonful. Perfect. I like to do a little extra. Yeah. And I already love the color that this is adding to yeah. it. And I know people at home know ceviche and the citrus helps to cook the fish that and give correct. it that amazing mm. texture. So it helps cook the fish, gives it the texture, firms it up, mm -hmm. gives it that nice bright acidity, which is what you want in ceviche, right? Yeah. Perfect for a nice warm summer day. You know, if you're eating ceviche, you know, you're pretty much not going to be working that day. You're going to be hanging out with friends, That's enjoying some vino. That's why I said, you want to take a day off. <laughs> but okay, I'm curious, cool. so you're using salmon. Why not shrimp? Does that work too? You can too, use or? shrimp as well. Mm, yeah, you can okay, use your okay. favorite fish. So take a little bit of taste. Okay, we have to do a taste test. Now, what you're looking for here is the right amount of acidity and the right amount of salt. Right. It's perfect. You like that? Mm -hmm. Come. I love that I so might far. add just a little bit more salt. Shoot, I could just eat this by itself. Perfect. Now, we're going to let this sit in the marinade for about two minutes. Okay. Uh, while we're uh, putting together the rest of the dish. Mm -hmm. That sounds good. All right, so, awesome. so next we're getting ready to plate. So, this is agua chile. Mm -hmm. So, you can make agua chile it's essentially like a spicy uh, kind of vinaigrette. Mm -hmm. So you could do like cucumber ones, jalapeno ones. This has, happens to be uh, Calabrian chiles from okay. Italy. There's a little bit of vinegar in here. Beautiful. And so I know that you have only been in San Antonio for a few months now. That is correct. What do you think also for all my Laredo people out there? You're from Laredo. I'm from Laredo. <laughs> yeah, so he's a camera guy. <laughs> yes, he is. He is. Tell me about your journey to San Antonio and what you think so far. San Antonio is fantastic. Such a vibrant city. It's just steeped in history. I love it so much. I was actually born in San Antonio. and. Uh, growing up in South Texas, we always visit San Antonio all the time. So. Yeah, yeah. So we've been working in Houston, now coming to San Antonio. So we're excited about the move. Yeah. Nice, nice moves. I like it, yeah. and I love this so far. We're so we take have the agua chile. Little, so you've got the agua chile. Mm -hmm. We're going to take this avocado guacamole kind of action going. All right, and so we're using a mold right now right. to make it look beautiful. This is great. spoon this down like this. What do you have in the avocado? Because I know it's a little chunky, but I it's see... It's a little chunky. So I like my aguacate or my guacamole chunky. Mm -hmm. uh, lime juice, sea salt, a little bit of red onion, and cilantro. All right, keeping it simple, right. keeping it simple. Now, we're going to take this fish and just layer it right on top. Okay, right on top. This is awesome. There you go. Seriously, the colors are so... <laughs> my mouth is watering. And this is perfect. You're right for a hot day. It's so refreshing. That's I know perfect. that you have some other items on your menu as well That's that correct. we're looking at too. Um, tell me about those items. Uh, so over here we have uh, one of our most popular dishes. It's going to be the quail poppers. Mm -hmm. So those are quail legs, Lockhart from Lockhart, Texas. Uh -huh. Inside we have pickled jalapeno wrapped in bacon. And then we hit it with a spicy uh, green goddess dressing. We kind of like a jalapeno, kind of cilantro, kind of spicy ranch thing kind of going on. I like that. Yeah, I know someone our... back at the studio who loves their awesome. ranch too and their we sauces. We have a cool fun uh, charcuterie board. You know, mm -hmm. we also make here the country pâtés, uh -huh. uh, different cheeses. Uh, we're going to top this with a little bit of pickled onion right here. That's gorgeous. And how do you pickle onions? I know there's vinegar involved. Yes, yeah, so it's going to be a little bit of vinegar, vinegar involved, some sugar, uh, some salt. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, it looks amazing. Now, and I know we have to quick. do the big reveal. Wow. Now, we're almost done. Wow, we're gonna wow, wow. We're going to take some of this chive oil. Okay. Chive oil. Around the top like this. 
like oh that. see that's how you do it chef yeah i know you have some events coming up and we you're do. doing yep. a lot of reimagining but where can people find more information if they want to make a reservation or if they want to stop in uh, borderhousesa.com we're right. located right in the heart of the pearl yeah and you can come visit us uh, chef thank you so much for being on our show today y'all what do you think i'm gonna take a bite and get all these flavors together, but doesn't yeah. this look so good, you guys? Oh, you can even yeah. do it with a yes, on Chris right up my alley, Paul. Yep. yep. You know, you know, some folks use olive oil, but they use chive, chive oil, oil, right? Give me all the oil, all the sauces. Well, Clark exactly. is right. I'm the sauce bandit. And those quail poppers look awesome. Would you try one? Oh yeah, I would try one. I've eaten as many quail poppers as they could give me. Well,